Cleveland's plus six at Pittsburgh with the total dropping a full point to 43 and a half. Thanks for tuning in. I'm B-Rock and the Pittsburgh Steelers are laying 250 on the money line. Currently, 78% of the money's on Pittsburgh. Having said all that, let's take a look at both teams' performance against the spread, starting with Cleveland. The Browns have gone 3-12 and overall, and conversely, 3-12 and as the underdog or pick em. They're also 2-5 and on the road, and conversely, 2-5 and as the official road underdog. When the line's around 43-and-a-half, the Browns covered two out of seven games, as well as going 0-4 versus teams winning more than 55%. Records aside, Cleveland's three covers come at the expense of Tennessee, Miami, and San Diego. On the other side, the Steelers have fared significantly better than their counterparts, posting records of 9-6 overall and 4-3 at home. They're also 9-5 as the favorite and 4-2 as the home favorite. In addition, Pittsburgh's 2-1 versus teams winning less than 40%, as well as going 3-0 versus teams allowing more than 25 a game. In addition to their impressive record against the points, Pittsburgh has garnered marquee covers over the likes of Washington, Kansas City, New York Giants, and these very Cleveland Browns. It's for these very reasons that I am loving, once again loving, the Pittsburgh Steelers laying the 7 points on the spread which is where the line was at during the time of my pick Monday morning. Along with a victory on the spread, I got Pittsburgh laying 285 on the money line, which was also the number at the time of my original pick. Big Ben's out, Le'Veon's out, Antonio's out, and it does not matter. Now that we've got the spread and the money line in the books, I'm going to break down the total points real quick. Both teams have collectively averaged under 44 total combined points in their last four games. In addition, Cleveland games have gone under the total points in six out of the last seven opportunities. And it's for these reasons that I am loving, once again loving, the under 44 total points, which was the line when I made my original pick. All told, I've got Pittsburgh laying six points on the spread, the under 44 total, and Pittsburgh laying 285 for some money line cash.